Do you ever find yourself saying, you know, Ryan, I really want to pick up reading, but I just don't have enough time in the day with work, with school, with volunteering, with family. There's just not enough time in the day for me to pick up a book and read. I have too much of a hectic schedule to even try to read. Well, look no further because in this video, I'm going to discuss four key strategies you can utilize in a very hectic schedule to still incorporate reading into your daily life, as well as a few tips I found that can be really beneficial to you. I've spent the last several years reading books and my goal Goal is to help you incorporate reading books if that's something you want to do if you, if you don't want to read books it's cool just move along but for those of you who really want to incorporate reading books into your daily life but you have a really busy schedule I get it I've been a student an employee you know worker full-time you know family all these different things so I totally completely understand what you're going through I'm going to share with you four main strategies I've found that can be really beneficial that you can utilize even if you have a very hectic and a very busy schedule. So strategy number one is optimize your environment. Now what I mean by this is it's really hard to get into picking up the reading habit and picking up books if you don't have books around in your house. So leave books by your bed, leave books in your bathroom. So when you're going to go do your morning glory, you're going to sit for five minutes anyways, why not go ahead and pick up a book and read? Leave a book in the living room, leave a book in the kitchen, leave books everywhere. So that way your environment is optimized to have and see books everywhere. So you're more likely to just say, you know what? Let me go ahead and pick up a book. I've got five minutes anyways. Or right before you bed, you can go ahead and pick up a book because you've optimized your environment that there's a book right next to your bed or there's a book right in your bathroom or right there in the living room. So you have some downtime. You can incorporate picking up this book and reading it. And you're pushing the odds just ever so slightly towards that advantage of, you know what, today I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to pick up a book and just start reading and see what happens. Plus with optimizing your environment. If you're in a setting where you're just not really able to focus, you're not really able to just sit down with a book and be one with the book, go outside, go to a coffee shop, go to a, a library, go to a bookshop, whatever is gonna help you really sit down and focus in on whatever book that you're interested in reading for those next five, 10, 15, 30, 60 minutes, however long you wanna read, set yourself up for success. So whether that's leaving books all around your house or set yourself up in a different location so that you're optimized to take full advantage and to squeeze every single ounce of juice out of the 20 minutes you have to read. So whatever that environment looks like for you, set it up. And this is gonna take some experimenting, some testing. Go and see if you even like sitting in a library, right? Don't just bag on it if you don't. Try it, see if you like it. Maybe you don't, maybe you do. Try a coffee shop, try a bookshop, try different places and find what works for you. But most importantly, you wanna optimize your environment. Strategy number two is incorporating a reading routine. Now, what exactly does this mean? When you go ahead and wake up in the morning, you're usually probably gonna go ahead and either use the bathroom or make a cup of coffee, something in that realm where you have 10, 15 minutes that you would normally utilize anyways in your day-to-day -day habit. You follow rule number one of optimizing your environment. You're gonna have books in the bathroom, you're gonna have books in the kitchen. And so while you're making your morning cup of coffee, maybe you grab a book and you read for two minutes. Two minutes is all it takes. Or perhaps you're more of a night person, right before bed, you have a book right by your nightstand, you go ahead and you pick up a book and you read. My challenge to you is if you haven't started reading, pick up a book and read it for two minutes. Or if you don't want to keep track of time, read one page a day, either or. And you might be thinking to yourself, Ryan, that's nothing. What are you talking about? A page, two minutes every day. That's really nothing. You're barely even reading. Well, that's how I start off with Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I would read about a page to two pages every single day and eventually, my reading muscle became bigger and bigger and I was able to read for longer sessions. Once I got into a reading slump and then eventually got out of it again, I went ahead and picked up Blink by Malcolm Gladwell and this one I would read a few minutes before bed every single day and eventually I challenged myself to read a page to then it became two pages and then eventually became 10 minutes then 15 and so on and it started growing. But it takes time. So whatever your daily routine is already, just try to find a way to incorporate two minutes of reading into that daily routine, along with all the other daily habits you would normally do regardless. Strategy number three is take advantage of your commute time, whether you're driving, whether you're taking transportation, right, bus, train, whether you're bicycling, whatever you are, you can take advantage of this commute time. You can utilize audiobooks. 
So while you're taking your 15, 20 minute commute, you can go ahead and perhaps get a chapter in by listening to your audiobook while you're driving and replacing your music. Whether it's 15 minutes or 40 minute commute, you can take advantage of reading these books by utilizing audiobooks. You could say, well, audiobooks are a bit expensive, they're kind of pricey. Well, that's fair. But to be honest, you could also find certain audiobooks on YouTube for free. So I would say take advantage of that. I've also seen you can find certain audiobooks on different streaming platforms. However long your commute is, make sure you're taking advantage of that time. Strategy number four is always have a book ready. In other words, always have a book on your person, whether that's a physical book, whether that's an audio book or even an ebook. Always take advantage of having a book on you because you never know when you're going to have some downtime. Even if it's during your lunch or in between classes or in between meetings, maybe you've got 10 minutes. You're like, you know what? I want to de-stress. I want to go ahead and just take my mind off of things. Or again, during your lunch, you have five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and chill. You can go ahead and just pick up a book and just start reading. And you can say, you know what, Ryan, carrying a book, it, it's so much extra weight that I have to carry on me. Fair enough. Take advantage of audiobooks. You would have an audiobook on your phone regardless, or even an ebook, because ebooks can carry several hundreds or thousands of books on there, and it's all on one little, very light digital device. Take advantage of audiobooks and ebooks, and make sure you always have a book on you so you can take advantage of that downtime. And then before we go, I wanted to leave you with a few tips. And when you're starting that reading habit, it can be really tough, you know? So, a few tips I have you know, don't judge. Don't judge the process. Just trust in the process. Again, two minutes might not sound like a lot, but it adds up over time. If you go for a walk, eventually you start getting faster and faster and you can start running, right? And then you get faster and faster with weights. And it's the same idea with books. After two minutes, you're going to start reading for five minutes. Then you're going to find yourself losing track of time. And then it's going to be 10 minutes, then 15. And eventually it's going to grow over time. That, that focus, that skill set of sitting and just focusing on that topic and becoming one with the book. It's going to take time. Trust in the process. Don't judge yourself too early, right? Like just trust in that process and develop the reading muscle. Also, don't compare yourself to other people reading. Even though I might be able to read for 30 minutes, that doesn't mean anything. That's my personal baseline. We all start in different places. When I first started reading, it took me forever to finish reading a book. But it just takes time. So don't judge the process and don't compare yourself to others. Another tip, remember that progress is progress. Once you've hit that goal you set for yourself, don't try and crap on it. Progress is progress. You, you've you gone ahead and built that consistent habit. So you want to go ahead and trust in that progress and trust the process instead of just saying, you know what? I don't care. Oh, I only read for two minutes. Embrace those small wins every single day because that consistency is going to also help you build up that reading muscle. I hope these strategies really resonated with you. If you have been able to build a reading habit, please feel free to comment your favorite reading strategies for really building up that habit because i know when you're first starting out it can be very difficult and it's also quite a bit of trial and error finding what really works and connects with you so if you've already gone through it feel free to also share with the community you know what are some of your favorite strategies or ways to just really get into a book also i'm curious how long would you read a book when you first started reading versus now, let's say? Because I know when I first started reading, I would not be able to read a book for more than five minutes. And now I would say I could read a good 40 to 60 minutes, sometimes even two to three hours. But I found two to three hours to be my current max. Remember that everybody has to start somewhere. But the important thing is that you just start. You have the courage to go ahead and test and find what you really like and what you don't like. So that way you can continue to refine the process. So remember to trust the process. Don't judge yourself too hard and don't compare yourself to others you're on the right path just keep going most importantly have fun with it whatever books you're reading have fun and enjoy it so to recap optimize your environment incorporate a reading routine take advantage of your commute time and lastly always have a book ready i hope these strategies and tips really help you remember today's a great day to have a great day so have a great day and thanks for watching